<laughs> you guys see those pigs just barely peeking over the grass this morning. Come on in pork and chops. Good morning, modern steaders. It's another nice foggy, chilly morning here at Lumna Acres. You ready for breakfast? You've been waiting? Morning. Getting this area tilled up nicely. There you go, Blossom. You're not gonna have that? Right in there for you. Go for it. Today's gonna be a good day to get up on the roof rafters, get the roof strapped, and start getting some tin up today, guys. Oh, it's gonna be nice once we have the last bit of tin on the barn roof. Whew. That's gonna feel so good. We got rain coming in either later today or tomorrow. So I'm hoping we can get the tin roof on before the rain comes in. We have a few rainy day projects we can do, like we can install the garage door, we can start roughing in the opening for the transom window. We're going to side the left side of the barn right away. So I got to get the wood to side that and we got to figure out where we want to put our doors in there. So if it's raining out later this week, we can do that stuff. Good girl. Thank you. I gotta get in here and clean this hay feeder out and start over again with fresh hay. They don't really seem to like this last bale of hay they've gotten. It's not their favorite. Morning, Magnolia. Morning, little man. Little pig. Huh? Did you have a good night? The fog is still pretty thick this morning. Usually it burns off a lot faster. Makes me think it'd be a good day to go fishing. Oh, I bet you the trout are biting good this morning. Old CWC, I was wondering where you were. You weren't over at the pigs this morning. The black copper moran and olive egg lay has got a nice view of wild flowers. Oh, look at that beautiful view you ladies get. And that's right, there's one rooster in there. The olive egg lays look like they're fighting over a bug. They found something. It's like a grasshopper. Getting the grass eaten down pretty good over here. I had to run out to the grain store yesterday and I picked up a couple of bales of hay and I put them up in the hayloft. <laughs> Let's get the air compressor plugged in. I need our gloves. Bring our hammer out. Let's get this turned on. Let's get set up. I hope to get all the strapping on this morning. Start with the tin. If not, get all the tin on. We'll see. So last time we put our fascia boards on all the sides and then our shadow board. This side, I don't want to do that first. We're going to strap it and we're going to tin it. And I'm going to keep in mind what the thickness would be for the shadow board and the fascia board. But 
I'm gonna side this side. And what I'm gonna wanna do is I wanna run the siding up to the inside of the bottom of the roof. And then I'll do my fascia board and my shadow board since these rafters don't overhang, if that makes sense. So we're gonna hold off with the trim work on this side for now. 12,000, okay, so we're gonna have three, we have four of these total. Just trying to get my bearing straight with what we have and where it goes. all my trim work still. This is the other strapping right here. There we go. Boom. Awesome. Boom. over here like so we'll get one of the long ones set up right here let's grab this one Big square. Grab both of them just in case we drop one. Don't want to spill our coffee. And then here we go. I like that right there. Want to make sure we're on layout. We should be, but you're always better off double checking. Yep, we're on layout, perfect. But let's flip this. There we go. All right, let's get that down. Flushed up on this edge. Take that, set that in place. That's close. So this can come down just a smidge. Like that. We're flush there nicely. Let's get this one started. Do one nail for now. And then I want to go down a few. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay, so that needs to go up just a smidge. I want to run my square up and I don't want to hit this piece of strapping. If we do, whatever we put here for a board would hit the strapping first and we wouldn't be able to nail it to our rafter ends. This one. right there 
let's check. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I like that a lot. Perfect, first row is set. So let's get all the pieces up now and we can go to town. All right, let's see how quickly we can get this strapping up and then we can start roofing. This and these. All right, so this will set our height. Start with this one. The nail gun. Now we can nail that. Oh, gotta get down and get some nails, I guess. The drone battery died the same time we needed to load the nails, so had to come down to land the drone and fill up the nail gun. Perfect timing. back nailing this off.
like it. We're done strapping. Ah, you know what we forgot to do while we were up there? We need to double check where we want to pre-drill our metal so the screws fall on the strap in. So last time we went 4, 33, 53, 73, and 93. So that's gonna work again. Perfect. I like it. All the little tricks I've been picking up along the way have been saving me a ton of time on this one side. We're gonna want our five pound sledge. You're gonna need a drill bit. That'll do. And we're gonna need a block of wood, which is out there. And we're gonna want our drill, which is right here with a fresh battery. And we're gonna need a pencil. Need a drink. Now we got all these tarps to cover our firewood and we're gonna be getting down pouring rain. This is the last piece of tin we'll put on. We'll drill that when we get to it. So I wanna set this aside. And this would be like this. Top. And we gotta think about these and how they're gonna sit up on the roof. We don't wanna drill them going the wrong direction. So the Metal roofing has like a little air on one side of the rib. The other side, like this, doesn't have the air. That's the piece that goes on top, and that'll be our first piece on the outside edge. So, if we screw this as the top, it'd be wrong. We need to screw, drill that as the top. Because that's gonna go up, this is gonna go outside, and that'll go in, so this is the top. I'm gonna grab a piece of pressure treated wood because it's made out of yellow pine. So it's denser. Look at that, you can't even tell that I was beating on that piece last time. So now I wanna flush up all the edges of the tin. It's all nice and flush now. So it's 10 pieces we're gonna be drilling through. So that's the top. Should be 103 inches long, which it is, 103. I'm gonna use my tape measure as the guide of how far to keep it off. And actually, let's do this. Start on the right side. So 103, we're gonna go 93, 73, 53, and four. All right, let me finish marking this. drill bit. I need our quarter inch drive bit and we can start getting this tin on. <laughs> oh so exciting. Get that ladder out of our way.
don't need this anymore. trim board on. It's gonna be somewhere around here because we're gonna want to line up with that rib. All right so from here we are two inches. That's two inches thick. So we, need, ooh. we need to be four inches from there which is right there. Uh. Let's get this set. Four inches. Four inches right there. Where is our first hole? Right here. All right. Let's leave that there and go down below. This one we're gonna want to be four inches, also, or seven. Right there is four. Let's double check one more time. Four inches, okay. So let's put a screw in it right here. We're good on that rafter. Let's set a few more up and see how it turns out. nice and flushed up. I like that right there. Okay, I'm liking that. Let's try another one. When I can, I like to put up a few extra pieces of tin, just tack them in place and hold them there. Make sure everything lines up nice and straight. Can't just cut tin like you can plywood and get a nice edge on it. So I like to do this, and I want to have about five or six sheets up, take them all back down. We can do this one, we can do this, but we need to put a screw in it so it doesn't slide on us. Let's get some of these screws started. That glare coming off that roof and is whew, bright in the old eyeballs. Smidge on us, I don't know why. Just gonna keep track of all that. I like it like that. We'll start over here. Still nice and flush, I like it. nice and straight up here. I like it guys, I like it.
I do remember the first time I saw somebody pre-drill on the tin, I was like, what are they doing? Those screws come, they're self-tapping screws. And then once I tried it myself, I went, yep, that's a huge time saver. And it saves a lot of aggravation too. Uh, all right. It's nice and flush there. This side of the old hang is going to be for the goats. I'll have the goat stalls in the back here. And in the front is going to be the grain and milking room. We've got to figure out that layout next. Put a milking stand in here and try to figure out what works best. And then we will decide where we want to put everything. I need more screws before I get up there. Just enough room to get up here. All right, let's get this last piece set up in place. There we go. I like that. That slid up nicely. Slide it up, nice and flush. I like it. I like that. Let's just get up on the roof there. That wasn't sitting nice, so I didn't like it. I did not like it one bit. I was gonna start the flashing from that back corner, but that apple tree is gonna be a pain in our butt. So I'm gonna start from the front and then pull it this way. I think if I take a piece of strap in and apply it across the scaffolding, I think this is gonna help quite a bit. Let's do that. gonna help or hinder us, but I think it should help us. Let's get that out of the way. There we go, let's grab this. All right, let's let that go for a minute. All right, I like that. Let's get this started. Go. 
Try this again. I think this is gonna work out really good. I don't want to jinx myself though, so we won't say it too loud. Let me try putting this higher. Maybe that'll help. Lessen up some of that angle. Also, I think I found our dilemma right here. I am not sure, but it looks like, yeah, that's our issue. Awesome. That's the issue right there. Our issue is we were stuck in under that piece of strap in. And that's why we couldn't pull it any further. Oh, I'm glad I figured that out. like six more inches. So close, two more inches. Woo! That was a good, fun workout, guys. That was fun, believe it or not. 12 and a half inches, I'm happy with that. Let's see how it is here. Oh, 13, okay, it's working. Let's do this. this there. there just keep working it back in. It's a warm one on the roof today.
Nice. And you know what? I only have three more screws in my pocket. All right, so we need to trim that edge up. What do you think of the barn with the roof on it? I like it. You like it? Yeah. So is that silver stuff, is it gonna stay like that or are you gonna put something else on top of it? That's gonna stay like that. Okay. Want your treat? <laughs> you girls don't care for this hay, do you? I'll have to bring out a different bale later. I'm gonna go see the babies. Okay. The kids love this hay though. Maybe they just don't know better. I had a goat on my back. That's so what happened, she fell off? No, it hurt. Oh. There you go. Hey, the babies like that, the bale of hay. They, I know. There, it's like an ice cream cone for you. So, they love it. Yeah, I was just sitting here, and then all of a sudden she started chewing on my shirt, and I was like, no. So I went like this, and then I went like this to get little man, and then she like jumped in. How many eggs do you think today? Um, yesterday we got what? 15, was it? 15? I don't know. I don't know what to do this year. We got like maybe like 18 yesterday. So I think maybe like 17 or 20. off. We got chicken. We got chicken. No egg or one? One egg. One, three, five. Look how big that one is. Whoa! That's that probably a, a double yoker. Yep. Or there's a chicken in there. No chicken in there. I'd say a double yoker. Five, um, seven, Nine, eleven, thirty, yeah, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. Hey, I got it right. I said seventeen or twenty. That was a big range. Yeah, but you catching bugs, Tanner, or what? Oh, you're silly. It was a big push today to get the strapping up, the tin up, and then get the flashing up. It's supposed to be getting rain either later tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. So I'm glad we got it watertight. All those little tricks and hacks that we picked up doing the last roof really saved us a whole lot of time. I'm, I'm figuring it saved us at least two days, if not three days worth of work having all these little shortcuts to do to save us the time. So I'm glad we got it done today. I'll tell you what, I'm going to sleep good tonight. There was a few times I didn't know if I was going to be able to finish it up. The worst one was when that flashing got stuck underneath the splinter of strapping. I didn't know what was hanging it up at first, and I was fighting with it for 
probably a good 10 minutes or so, but got it figured out and got it done. But I'm going to sleep good. Here's a good quote that went great today. If you doubt you can accomplish something, then you can't accomplish it. You have to have the confidence in your ability and then be tough enough to follow through. Man, that is so true. you got to have the grit just to stick it out and do so it. So thanks for coming along on this journey with us, guys. It's, you are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. It's been a fun project building the barn. We're not done yet, but now we're watertight. So we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.